In part one of the Fix My Pond series, I showed you how to install the high blow aerator pump. And in part two, I will show you how to make a diffuser out of a five gallon bucket. Hello there, it's Farmer Brad again. Now on today's video, I'm making the diffuser. Here I have one that's 90% completed. You need a five gallon bucket, a diffuser, and a few other parts. Uh, what I'll eventually do is I'll pour some concrete or gravel down into the bottom of this to give it some weight. Then I'll tie a rope to this handle and then that rope will go up to a decoy on the top of the pond. That way if the pump ever stops, I can find the location of these with ease. Let me go through the parts that we need to make the second one. A five gallon bucket, of course. Then uh, here is the diffuser. It uh, just allows for very small air bubbles to come out. The parts you need are a five gallon bucket, a half inch threaded barb, and a half inch threaded coupler with female to female on both ends, half inch conduit nut, and a three eighth plug. Let's get started. So what we're gonna do is we're going to drill a hole that matches the threaded end of this. We want it down about an inch. Okay, I'm gonna get a deburring tool to make that hole a little bit bigger. I'd also like to take this time to thank High Blow for sending me the aerating pump and the diffusers. Also, their team prototyped this out in order to give me the instructions on how to make these diffusers. So I'm just gradually making this a little bit bigger at a time. And while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and drill the other hole. Now this hole only needs to be um, big enough for this to fit in there. So I'm threading it into that hole. And then I'll take this plug and have it into the opening of the diffuser. And this won't go in all the way, but it's mainly to just keep the diffuser secure. Then on this end, take this lock nut get that placed there. Now here is where the Teflon tape comes into play. So you'll want to 
put a good amount of Teflon tape right on here. You know, want to make sure that you go this orientation so that as you're tightening it, it won't rip the Teflon tape. Okay. While we're at it, we'll go ahead and put Teflon tape on this connector. And then we tighten that on there until that's snug and I'll get some pliers to tighten this. But here you go, this is a very easy pond diffuser to build. Uh, next step is to fill it with concrete or gravel. It really can't get any easier than this. Thanks for watching the video. Check in the description below, practicalgardenponds.com has given me a promo code to share with my subscribers to save you when you check out. On the next video, I show installing the diffusers into the pond.